Thank you for your interest in the KES Customer Portal NetSuite extension. The Customer Portal is a powerful way for your customers to self-service 24-7 and free up time for your AR staff. If you'd like more information or a personalized demo, reach out to us and we can set that up. The Customer Portal is an extension that gets installed in NetSuite, and most of the feature enablement and configuration is done within this main configuration page. Most pages are driven by underlying saved searches, so you can update the searches to restrict certain data or show different fields. With our premium version, you can add custom tabs that display data from saved searches, and we can also add fully custom pages with extensive functionality. Customer access to the Customer Portal can be given in two different ways, self-sign up and assigning access manually. By clicking this self-sign up button, Customers can get access themselves, but their email address must already exist in your NetSuite instance as either a customer email or contact email. Manual access can be given on the customer record with the Customer Portal Access and Customer Portal Send Access checkboxes. Access can also be given this way at the contact level, so the same customer can have multiple contacts with login access. Contacts can also be set as view only in the portal. We include a login audit that tracks login activity for both customers and contacts. We also include a number of out-of-the-box searches that can be added as reminders to help monitor activity in the portal. Back to the customizable portal login screen. You'll notice the login input, the forgot password link, and the captcha as extra security. I'll log in with the submit button. After logging in, the home page appears, which shows the customer's current balance, the currently set message, and open invoices, though this page can be changed to show other things as well. The tabs across the top display based on whether or not a feature is enabled. The case management tab only appears because case management is enabled within the config screen. And again, with the premium version of the portal, this is where custom tabs with custom content would also appear. If a contact has access to multiple companies within the portal, they can use this pull down to easily toggle between those companies. On the invoices page, the list defaults to open invoices, but this can also be filtered to paid in full or all. For each invoice, customers can click the button to view the invoice PDF rendered exactly as if done from inside of NetSuite. There is also the pay now link if you've enabled online payments, which allows a customer to pay an individual invoice. Otherwise, this Make a Payment button allows them to pay multiple invoices at once. Right now, I'll select Make a Payment. I'll select a few invoices, and the total updates as these are selected. And since short pay is enabled on this count, an invoice can be paid less than its full amount. Notice that for this account, a convenience fee is applied for credit cards. But if I change to a bank account, no convenience fee is added. There are several settings around this. Convenience fees can be set up for both credit cards and ACH, set differently for Amex versus other credit cards, and individual customers can be marked as exempt from these fees as well. I switched back to a credit card and now I'll make a payment. This payment is now processing for these two invoices. You can also enable the option to view or view and pay using credit memos. If the customer has an open credit memo, they can select the credit memo, choose which invoices to apply it to, adjust the amount, and submit. Also notice that this Generate Statement button on the left, which only appears if the feature is enabled, allows a customer to generate a statement directly from the portal. Select a date, decide whether only open transactions should be included, and select Generate. The statement is generated just as it would be inside of NetSuite. On the Payments page, all of a customer's payments are listed, they can manage their payment methods, and their credit memos are listed if viewing credit memos has been enabled. If you've enabled NetSuite case management, the support page allows customers to view their open cases and submit new ones. Opening a case will show all of the communication on it, allow the customer to view or upload files related to the case, and they can reply back. This is integrated with NetSuite case management, so actual cases are being created and managed from within NetSuite as well. With our premium version, you can enable customers to view their existing sales orders, copy those, or enter a new sales order. They can enter items based off of your NetSuite item list, 
verify their information, and submit that order. Note that this is not intended to be an e-commerce site, as taxes and shipping do not calculate and payment is not collected up front. The primary use case for this is if you have B2B customers that are doing periodic orders. If you've enabled document management, this is where you can upload documents internally that your customer can view, or your customers can upload documents that get attached to their customer record in NetSuite. On the settings page, customers can update their email address and phone number. They can also view and, if enabled, edit their address. They can reset their password. With the premium version, if you're logged in as a customer and not a contact, customers can manage their own contacts and give or take away access from people within their organization. After selecting a contact, they can easily revoke access or set a contact to be view only. Thank you for your interest, and we look forward to having you as a KES Customer Portal customer.